Hi there, everybody. Another uh, video from me here today. Um, I wanted to talk with you very quickly about how to load editor data files um, when you're playing Football Manager. Um, I've talked a little bit about this in the past, but I know that there are some people who may be a little bit new and uh, some people who are kind of curious about the various things that you can do. So just so you know, as a, a word of warning, I'm doing this on Linux. Um, it's very similar to how the process works on Windows, except that there's a bunch of crazy directories, and I'll sort of show you the craziness here um, for a little second. Um, so this is kind of where all of the uh, data editor data files go. Within your um, documents directory on Windows, you will have a sports interactive folder that's automatically created. Within that, there should be a folder for Football Manager 2023 or for prior games 2022, 2021, or for future games 2024, and so on. You just go inside that folder, and you'll see all sorts of stuff here. Some of these folders will be pre-created. Some of them will not. For example, graphics might not. If you have photos you want to put in, they would go into the graphics folder. Most of these uh, graphics files and uh, compilations and stuff, when you start clicking through them, will have um, different... Uh, uh, config.xml files, which is the thing that sort of tells the game where these files are located and what kind of files they are. Um, and uh, you'll get stuff like all these nice metallic flag uh, photos and all sorts of stuff like that. We don't have to go into necessarily too much detail here. That can be for a later video. What we care about here is this editor data folder, which um, looks sort of like this. So I have a whole bunch of stuff in here, including, of course, Dave INC ID's many uh, modifications here for Football Manager that I really, really enjoy using. Um, there's a couple of other interesting things here as well. This is the uh, Rob's History update that comes from the Football Manager forums. We have the Fußball Liga System Deutschland, which was for the Ingolstadt save. That's the uh, lower league system for Germany. And we have, here's the one that we're using today, Yenbien Super is kind of what I called it. There's all sorts of like interesting things that are going on here, all sorts of different types of uh, files that you can get. Some of them will be um, compatible with the current version of Football Manager. Some of them you'll have to use the earlier database for compatibility. Now, to look into the folders, again, as I said, it's in, uh, you go to your Documents folder, Sports Interactive, and that's where Football Manager will be. If you were on Linux, though, you have to do all sorts of crazy stuff. So on Pop! OS, I have to go into uh, the uh, .local, then share Steam, Steam apps, um, comp at data, and then we have to go to this one folder here, PFX, and then drive C. And then that'll give us uh, our uh, users folder. And uh, I am Steam user. That's what uh, Steam automatically sets up for you. And then you go to Documents, Sports Interactive, and so on and so forth. I won't bore you with too many of the details other than to mention that if you happen to be on Linux, that folder will be different from the folder used for the pregame editor, which is the one here. This is why there's no editor data here. But if I go down to Football Manager and Editor Data, voila, we have all of this editor data. This is because of the way that Proton... Um, uh, uh, Proton uh, Experimental and these other um, emulators work with Steam. These uh, They're actually wine wrappers. It's kind of a mess, and uh, really it doesn't make very much sense that I would have two different Windows installations in for the same program, but whatever. If you're on Mac OS, which I can't show you right here, even though this is an iMac, um, it would be under your application support folder as a hidden folder, and so it's a little bit more complicated on Mac OS. But the idea is the same. You'll put your editor data FMF files, mostly FMF files, into this folder. Sometimes you'll get an XML file if something's experimental or whatever's going on. Now we'll open up uh, Football Manager and sort of show you how this works in game. Um, so, uh, like I said, um, when we have updates to Football Manager to the newest version, if you're not familiar with the pregame editor and with uh, doing all the file checking and all the other stuff you need to do, I recommend waiting for creators to come out with the newest version of whatever their uh, whatever pro uh, project or whatever editor data it is that you're looking for. You can do it yourself if you know how or if you're brave enough to know how, though it's a little bit more complicated. We're going to go into uh, the... Uh, uh, editor, um, the pregame editor in a little bit further detail here in future videos um, as I too would kind of like to learn more about it. So we're going to do some experimenting with it. Now once you have your editor data set up, what you do is you go over to start new game, go over to career. And um, so this will show up automatically, right? So the 23.3 uh, database, you can see that I can choose some editor data, but not all of it will work, right? Some of the things like the Fußball Liga system Deutschland does not work because it was verified with an earlier version of the Football Manager database. Same things with my Yenbian Super um, database. And so if we want to use those files, we have to go up here to database and choose the earlier database version. So let's say I wanted to, I don't know, go back to do the uh, Germany thing. 
I would uh, click through here and I would say, okay, this is the only one I want, right? Sorry, Dave, but I'm not going to use your stuff right now. We're just going to use Fußball Liga System Deutschland. And then we click on OK. And we go over here to advanced setup. And then what will happen is it will load the football manager database that I chose along with this league data. We can tell that it worked here because, um, okay, so I don't care about Major League Soccer. Let's say we uh, remove all of this junk. And instead, we're going to go over here to add and remove leagues. We'll take off whatever is left, Mexico, goodbye, and we'll put Germany on instead. And now when we click on Germany, instead of just going to the Dritte Bundesliga and above, I can go all the way down to the Landes- and, und uh, Verbandsliga and above. And um, then you can have like all sorts of different possible leagues to uh, choose from and to play around with. Now, what I'm going to tell you is that if you set up this game and you said, okay, I have the German lower leagues on, but you know what, I don't really want to play in them. I just want to like deselect them and only play in, I don't know, Finland, right? You can do that and you can play only in the Finnish first division and above. Then later on in the game, if you want, when it's time to go to Germany, you can go turn those German leagues back on. Now, depending on how many years go by, like things might be a little bit screwed up, right? The game does not uh, simulate things in the background for leagues that are not loaded the same way that it does for leagues that are loaded. This is going to become important in the near future, especially on this channel when we start doing the uh, hexagons challenge um, because we're not going to load every single country in the world at once. My computer is good. It's not that good. Um, there is a way that you can load a whole bunch of stuff at once and have a realistic game um, without necessarily loading the entire world at once. If you don't need the country, you don't have to have it loaded. And then later on, you can bring it back and have it playable. It is true that at the beginning, it might not be fully playable and you might have some weird stuff going on. But if you give it a little bit of time, the game will recover. Anyway, that is the way that you set this up. If you have editor data, you can load it in like that from the front screen. Again, the thing that you really want to make sure that you pay close attention to um, more than anything else is uh, where you're putting that editor data, the fact that you have it in the right folder, and of course that it is compatible with whatever version of the database that you're running. I always recommend go back to the source if you need a new version of it and see what they have, see if they've updated it or not. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Sometimes if they didn't update it, it's okay. You can put out a post and say, hey, could you please update this? And people will be nice and say, sure, here you go. Here's the new version. That happened to me on um, FM20. There you go. I hope that was uh, somewhat informative and somewhat helpful. Um, and like I said, we're going to look into more of these editor data files in the future. We're going to mess around a little bit with pregame editors. We're going to have some fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye.